as Carl Sagan was pulled from his... Carl Sagan? It's Doc! Killed by a mob. What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. Oopsie! My newspapers! Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let me... No! You've gotten my history out of order! Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? For 15 minutes? Ow! Get out! Get out! Get out! Help! Police! I'm being attacked by hooligans! Nice! What did I do? Marty! Where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? Uh, didn't I tell you? I, I got the lead in the school play. Uh, we're doing... Grapes of Wrath? Right! Oh, Steinbeck! Who are you playing? Um, uh... Never mind, you don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing, right? I hope Hells so. Hells yeah. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away too long. You'll barely know I was gone. There we go. You ready to go, Einstein? He's ready. I'm ready. Let's go back to the past. What's up, boy? I can't leave the DeLorean now. Doc's waiting for me in 1931. That's right. Talk to the dog. I can't leave the DeLorean now. Doc's waiting for me. Say that again. All right. So, uh, we got the time circuit. I've got to turn on the time circuits first. Okay, I'll do that, I guess. I've got to turn on the time circuits. All right, I'll do that, I guess. Time circuit switch. Time circuits. On. Oh, yeah. Flux capacitor. Uh, fluxy. <laughs> right. Okay. Now then. If Doc's going to get killed on June 14th, 1931, I'll just show up the day before and get him out. I hope you know what you're doing, Doc. May 14th. Oh. Here we go. Yes! Shield your eyes, Marty! 88 miles an hour, here we go! Ooh. Back to the future. Back to the past. Oh, damn. Oopsie. Whoa. Nice. Great hiding spot, really. It's a great hiding spot. Einstein, where'd you go now, boy? Nineteen thirty, what? One, two.
Look out. Young man, excuse me, young man. Who, uh, me? You're the only man in the street, and I'm looking for a man in the street reaction. Naturally, you know about the explosion that destroyed this illegal gin establishment. I read about it, yeah. What's your opinion of Carl Sagan, the stranger who single-handedly did what the law has been unable to do for ten long years, namely, rid Hill Valley of the scourge of liquor? Uh... You can mark me down as a supporter, the young man said, flashing a boyish yet virile grin. Hill Valley needs more upstanding youths like yourself. Do you have a message for the vicious gangsters who still roam these streets? No doubt plotting to corrupt our citizens with another den of booze, sin, and debauchery? No, nah, not really. That's the spirit! Destroy them with indifference! If we refuse to patronize their establishments and glorify their wicked exploits, they'll soon be exposed for the pathetic wretches they are! May I get your name? Yeah, it's... Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Michael Corleone. Thank you for sharing your candid opinions, Mr. Corleone. Edna Strickland, Hill Valley Herald. Who? Oh, Edna. Uh... I know. I met you back. I mean, I'm familiar with your work. You read my column? How sweet. I know it's just an etiquette column, but I believe it'll lead to bigger and better... Oh! Einstein, no. Down, boy. Is this wretched creature yours? He assaulted me once before. What's got into you? Aggressive dogs must be kept on leash at all times. It's the law. Look it up. Okay. Doc. She's I pushing. What's up, Jay? It's probably at the police station, I'd imagine. Hold down the right mouse. Hey, Erica. Hey, uh, can I get some moose? What does this look like? A hunting lodge? Not hiring. I guess this is where the speakeasy burned down. How'd Doc ever get mixed up in that? Oh, what's with the, uh... Maybe we can get a lawyer. Hello? No solicitors! Huh. Bank. Okay, I gotta go to the police station. How do I do that? I thought I could... I thought I could run. What's up, uh, Dick Greyborn? Well, I am playing this game, so that's probably why. I don't normally have 700 viewers. That was just because some nice people decided to raid me. Mostly one nice person. Who are you and what do you want? Can I talk to, uh, Carl Sagan? Are you his lawyer? Um, no. Then scram! Ah, right. Okay, well, I need a lawyer. What the fuck did I run again? Yeah. Find Doc. Well, he's in there. Who's in here? Soup kitchen under new management. Get some food. Some soup. Wow. Nice place. Oh, Make gangsters. fly. Biff? Kid. Grandpa? That's Mr. Tannen to you, Artie. What are you doing out here? Jackie, get out. Yeah, everyone well, in the 
town is. I was getting kind Everyone of hungry, town, so I figured I'd come down here for some free soup. Just thought I'd come down for some soup. Think, McFly. The DA's throwing around subpoenas like Babe Ruth. I don't think Ruth's a pitcher anymore. Shut it. If one of those subpoenas landed in the hands of my number cruncher, I'd be in a whole lot of trouble. I could even get sent up the river. You wouldn't want that, would you? Would you? Uh, no, of course not, kid. All right, that's better. What are you looking at, punk? Keep your eyes on the soup, kid. Well? Well, what? What are you still doing here? Sorry, kid, I'll just run back to the safe house. You do that. And McFly? Yes? That hat's too flashy. You better let me hold on to it. Damn. Uh, now scram! Stole his hat. You got it, boss. And don't come out until I give you the all clear. I swear, if even one of you mooks could add two plus two without your fingers, I'd dump that wimp into the lake. Hey! Anyway, I'm off to make myself irresistible. Don't let anyone burn down the shop while I'm gone. You should burn down the shop. Um. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> hey, um, never mind. What's that? What's over there? Counter flat. We're just gonna go back there. The kitchen's for management only, Rummy. Whoa. Whoa. Maybe I should go to the jail and talk to Doc before I start dialing random people in 1931. That's a good idea. Who's this guy? I better not talk to him. I don't want to mess up his timeline. Oh, all right. So we're doing that now. We're not freaking people out. Where is the jail in 1931 anyway? He's assing a dish. Poor Marty. I gotta get a lawyer. What's this thing that's... Gotta find a lawyer. It's gotta be it. Now that I've tried to talk to Doc. I better not. Those lawyers sound kinda nasty. Go to the bank. Get some How money. can I help you, sir? Uh, Without any money, I don't really have any business in there. Good call, good call. Ruins. It's a stationer's office. You gonna buy anything? Um, no. Then get out, Bob. <laughs> Everyone's so mean. The hell's a flop house? I'm not so sure I want to stay in a place that welcomes transients. <laughs> you are a transient, Marty. Shark. Wow, looks like they used a real shark. Damn. How do I run? How do I run? So that's about as far as I go there. Wow, this is invigorating. Here's Einstein. What are you doing, dog? Hey, how you doing, Einie? That's all we got from the dog. I can sightsee later. Right now, I've got to find the doc. He's in jail, man. He's in jail, and you know it. Can I go further down? Oh, maybe I can just go look at him. Oh, there he is. Doc! <gasps> 
<laughs> Doc! What are you doing here? You sent for me, Doc. I did? When? May 14th, 1986. 1980? Oh, the automatic retrieval system. Of course. I'd almost forgotten about that. So what's our plan for getting you out of here? Plan? We don't need a plan. We don't. Not in the slightest. The police picked me up for that speakeasy fire a couple of weeks ago, but the DA hasn't got a case. They're releasing me tomorrow morning. So basically, I traveled 50 years into the past to deliver your car? Sorry about that, but it's so wonderful to see you. We have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, you, you might want to hold off on that, Doc. Great Scott! I'm going to be gunned down by gangsters on the steps of the courthouse! Why would they do that? Guess they didn't approve of my burning down their speakeasy. Very funny, Doc. Maybe now we should come up with a plan? A plan? Right. But what? Why don't we try to tough it out? Now that we know what's coming, maybe we sneak it past the gangsters with a bulletproof vest or something. That might work with one or two bullets, but from the looks of this article, it appears that I'm going to be mowed down in a hail of Tommy gun fire that rendered the innocent stranger little more than a puffy mass of bones and gristle. Who writes Yeesh. like that? According to the byline, one <laughs> Edna, Edna Strickland. Strickland. I should have guessed. Hey, maybe I could talk to the gangsters. Tell them they're about to shoot the wrong guy. I don't think the criminals of this era are going to be very receptive to a complete stranger telling them that their secret assassination plan is misguided, do you? Why don't we tell the authorities? Tell them what? That my friend from the future has proof that I'll be murdered tomorrow? They'd ship us both off to the loony bin. And trust me, you don't want to see the inside of a 1931 insane asylum. Why don't I take the DeLorean, go back in time before you were arrested, and stop you from getting caught in the first place? Don't even think about it. Without my unjust incarceration, the events that sent you into the past might never happen, resulting in a paradox of continuum shattering proportions. <laughs> Jeez, we've been back together for five minutes, Doc, and you're already talking about the end of the universe. I've missed that. Don't be ridiculous, Marty. I was only referring to the end of the universe as we know it. Well, I suppose I could just get some dynamite and break you out of jail. No, no, that's far too dangerous. Not just to me, but to random innocent people in the past. The repercussions could be... <gasps> that's it! What's it? What's a it? Rocket-powered drill. Well, that sounds rocket -powered good. Rocket-powered drill? Not yet. I haven't built it yet. You've lost me, Doc. Listen, a few months ago, my 17-year-old self sent in a patent application for a rocket-powered drill. I abandoned the project after I never heard back from the patent office, but the prototype should be nearly complete. Great, I'll just run back to your lab and... No, no, I said nearly complete. You'll need me to help you finish it. How the hell am I supposed to sneak a half-finished rocket-powered drill into your cell? Not me, me! 1931 me! Wait a minute, Doc. You want me to convince your 1931 self to build a rocket-powered drill to break you out of jail? Precisely! Uh... Won't talking to yourself cause, you know, irreparable damage to the space-time continuum or something? It should be fine. I've already invented the idea of the rocket drill. You've just got to go with my younger self into finishing the prototype. Okay, let's say I go along with this crazy idea. Where can I find you? I mean, uh, the other you. How should I know? It was over 50 years ago. Why don't you go over to the soup kitchen next door and give my house a call? They'll know where to find me. Soup kitchen. Got it. Just stay away from the soup. It'll cause irreparable damage to your digestive system. Uh -oh. I guess I better get started. Don't worry, Doc. I'll get you out of here in no time. I'm not worried. Once you and my younger self put your heads together, you'll be unstoppable. Wait, run. It told me before, and I did not listen. Do, 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 
Doom. All right. On the phone. There we go. Telephone. Uh, hi. Uh, do you know where I could find Emmett Brown? Young Master Brown is currently tending to his clerking duties at the courthouse. Who may I say is calling? The courthouse? Doc never told me he worked at the courthouse. Hmm. Save kitchen. those these are very sensitive legal documents nobody is supposed to handle them but sworn officers of the court papa i mean judge brown says so judge brown doc uh nice to meet you i'm michael uh corleone emmett brown but i am a law clerk not a doctor now please get out of my way i have important business to transact Naturally, H2A multiplied by the inversion of H has to come out less than expectation value of A, right? No, no. What am I missing here? Or do we take H to stand for permitting a line operator? But in that case, H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A might well be equal to A's expectation value, but only if the coefficient of friction remains constant and the gravitational constant is variable. Wait, is that even possible? Oh, let's start over. Or sequels. Listen, Emmett, you don't know me, but I'm your friend. I'm not big on friends. They get in the way of work. Come on, Doc. Uh, Emmett, uh, drop the Legal Eagle Act. I got something more important for you to do. Mr. Corleone, I'll have you know that the law is the very mortar that holds society together. And we in the legal profession are like brick masons building the edifice of the future. Your dad tell you that? Every morning. See, I'm sort of in the science business myself. That's why I sought you out. Not that I care in the least, because science is the furthest thing from my own area of interest, which is law, but I don't believe you. It's true. I'm a scientist. So tell me something, Mr. Scientist, from your vast storehouse of scientific knowledge. Uh, the leg bone's connected to the thigh bone? Amazing. Listen, I understand you're working on a new invention in your lab. Invention? You must have me mixed up with somebody else. I'm in law. I have absolutely no interest in science. I better not. Those lawyers sound kind of nasty. Oh, crap. Oh, well, no, no. I better not. Those lawyers sound kind of <laughs> nasty. Come on, wait up a minute. You again? Can't you see I'm busy? What's this important business you're up to? It's a legal matter. Very complicated, very abstruse. I need to obtain five sets of initials on every copy of this writ of indemnification before Pop... I mean, before Judge Brown can even think of granting a waiver to the party in the first part. You have no idea what it's about, do you? That's how important it is. Okay, so you don't want your old man to know. 
That's fine. Listen, we all keep secrets. But I'm telling you, you can level with me about this science project of yours. The I am not a scientist. Go ahead, ask me what E equals. What does E equal? I have absolutely no idea. See? I don't know where you got your information from about me, mister, but you're wrong, wrong, wrong. No, I'm not. The of A might well be equal to A's expectation value, but only if the coefficient of friction remains constant and the gravitational constant is variable. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. Come on, you can trust me, Doc. Uh, Emmett, it's your future I'm looking out for, in more ways than one. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you and science. Oh, that word again! If you insinuate I'm a scientist once more, I'll sue you for defamation of character! H has to come out of less than expectation value of A, right? No, What am I missing here? Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone! So, Emmett, what time are you through with work? Depends. On weeknights, Pop sometimes keeps me in the office till 9. That is young dog, yeah. yeah. But today's yeah. Saturday. Right. So I probably won't get off before 10. How about you knock off work early and I'll buy you a beer? Uh, or soda? What do you say? Don't try to tempt me from my duty with sugary beverages. Keeping the wheels of justice turning, that's my one passion in life. Besides, if I left before 8, my pop would kill me. Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Scared of my father? Pop is the most learned, just, incorruptible judge that Hill Valley has ever seen. The only people scared of Judge Brown are people with a dark secret to hide. And I don't have a dark secret to hide. Emmett, uh, about don't your- Don't say it! God damn it! What do I have in my inventory that I can use? I feel like that would be bad. After all the trouble I went through getting this thing, there's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. I don't need to go in there anymore. Now, if H stands for one, the one dimensional. Yeah, 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 yeah. Later then, naturally, H to A multiplied by the inversion of H has. What about a tape recorder? Come out less than. No, 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 no. Why am I missing? Yeah, move! Oh, son of a bitch. Wait, is that even possible? Oh my god, how do I run? Oh, think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A He's multiplied stabbing. by the inverse of A. I, oh, oh. What? what the hell? Required to maintain a constant mass of itself. Acceleration is reduced by the inverse of the derivative of the speed relative to the speed of light. Doc's notebook doesn't belong to him. Okay, actually, it does belong to him, but not yet. In any event, it's probably a really bad idea to give him a book full of all the things he hasn't invented yet. Touche. What can I give him? What do I do? Help. Give me a hint. Oh, fuck. Well, no doubt. Try playing. Oh. Oh, okay. I got it. Oh, so actually I recorded it. I see. Uh, smart game. Run. How do I run? This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Doc. Psst, Doc. Marty, have you found my younger self yet? I know this 
really isn't the right time or place, but I found your notebook. Oh, so that's where I left it. Why'd you bring it here? Because the bank's selling off all your stuff. They can't do that. That's what I keep trying to tell them. Well, you hold on to it for safekeeping. We'll deal with my financial situation in 1986, after we saved me from a grisly death in 1931. Probably a good point. So, Doc, does this ring a bell? Oh, think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. I good grief! Is that me? I sound so... Young? I was gonna say intense. I forgot how wound up I used to get. Yeah, but what are you muttering about? Oh, that's easy. It's Ivanov's conundrum. Just tell my younger self that H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Won't giving him the answer mess up the time stream? Only if it turns out that reality is actually nothing more than a holographic illusion created by the interplay of subatomic particles on a vast two-dimensional membrane. So... It'll be fine. <laughs> All right. Hamilton's operator. How do I get out of here? Hang in there, Doc. Not the best choice of words, Marty. Oh, touche. Run! Uh, it's gotta be a button to run. How come I can't cross the street even? Like, where's controls? Where is controls in this game? Help and settings. Subtitles and help. Music, voice, effects, full screen, blah 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 blah. Advanced. Arr. Whatever. Oh my god. You haven't seen the movie, Jay? I haven't seen, you know what? I haven't seen the second or. Ah! I haven't seen the second or uh, third one. First one I've seen quite a few times. First one's really good. Yak. Hey, hey, hey. Just give me a chance. Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. Maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. What did you just say? I said maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Yeah. Great Scott! If H is a Hamiltonian, then H to the A multiplied by the inverse of H can only be the same as the expectation value for A! <laughs> That's it! That's the solution to Ivanov's conundrum, the problem I've been wrestling with in my head all week! I'm sure you would have figured it out by yourself in a day or two. The way you figured out how to build that rocket power drill. Where did you learn so much about science? Well, it's like this. You know about my rocket power drill. Then there can only be one explanation. What? You're from the patent office. I confess I didn't quite know what to expect when I sent the paperwork, but I never expected this. Welcome! I'm at your service. What can I do for you? <laughs> can I see your rocket power drill? Of course, of course. Naturally, it's just a scale model, but it's nearly operational. I can show it to you, say, first thing in the morning. Now that's no good. I need to see a full-size model. <gasps> that's fully operational. <gasps> Tonight. <gasps> Otherwise, we'll have to award the patent to a competing inventor. Dr. McCoy. Yeah. It can't be done! I mean, it might be possible to construct a full-size working model in that time frame, but I haven't got the main ingredient for the fuel. I'll get it for you. What is it? 190 proof grain alcohol. And you know how difficult it is to get a hold of alcohol these days. Especially now that someone's blown up the speakeasy. And besides, there's no way I can get off work until I've delivered the subpoena. It's part of the investigation into the business affairs of Kid Tannen. Is it vitally important you see that rocket power drill today? Yes. Is it vitally important you deliver that subpoena today? Yes! Listen, I'll help you deliver it, and I'll see to what you get the alcohol you need. <laughs> It'll help you get that drill finished by tonight. Deal? Deal. Here's the subpoena. I've got a subpoena my grandpa. No! <gasps> it's Kid Tannen. Oh, shit. Hey, I, I just saw him at the soup kitchen yelling at Arthur McFly. 
I'm not surprised. Arthur does the books for his business. What kind of business? That's what the DA is trying to find out. Let's go talk to him. No! Why not? Kid Tannen can tell us where Arthur's hiding. Yeah, well, he can also have us fitted for a Chicago overcoat. Gotta go find Arthur. I know what you're doing there, Edna. Matches, you, you got kiwi all over my socks. Sorry, boss. Get out of here. How about you? Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. He's very busy today. So when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the, uh, office. Where's the office? I forget. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now, it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> Could I buy Arthur's hat off you? Could you keep your mind on your work, huh, shoeshine boy? Hanging on to my peanut bowl. Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead, knock yourself out. What is, uh... Don't mind if I do. All right, break time's over. Back to work. What the hell did I see there? About Arthur McFly. Yeah? So one more thing about that hat. You're yeah. testing my <laughs> patience, the boy. So something was in those. Give me a peanut. I can. sure could go for some peanuts. Lucky for you, I'm in a giving mood. What? What is he looking at? I don't understand. Hey, kid. Yeah. What the hell is that? Dang! What'd you do? Give me that hat, you lousy crook! Damn it! Nice. Damn it. Nobody makes a monkey out of Kid Tannen. Ah. Uh, oh. Now, fix me up. I really didn't think I would just steal his hat, but it worked. Where do you learn how to move like that? Sandlot football. They used to call me the streak. Get out! Okay, now we gotta find... Interesting. Ed 
didn't know what's happening. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say. What's the scoop? I've heard rumors that something shady is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. It's under new management, you know. And, oh, we mustn't jump to any conclusions. Not till the facts are in. I hope to heaven it is just Shift a rumor. Yet. That soup kitchen is the front line in the good fight. If it goes bad, what will happen to the Stay Sober Society? Not to mention all the charitable institutions that depend on me for soup deliveries. You make hot soup deliveries? It's one of my many small contributions to the good cause. Healthy bodies, healthy souls. Or so one hopes. I pick up barrels of hot soup at the kitchen, and I deliver them hither and thither. Hill Valley Orphanage, the St. Francis Xavier Ranch for Unwanted Children, Foggy Mountain Home for the Incurably Insane, Shady Acres Rest Home. Oh, I can barely keep track of them all. It's a very big job. I'm sorry about the way Einstein lit into you back there. I don't know what got into him. Well, I hope you've learned to keep him under control. Yeah, I found someone to keep him distracted. Yeah. Very good. Now let's see if you know your multiplication tables. Hey, I can help you deliver soup. I don't need a lot of time to charities. Oh, which ones? The, um, Mario Brothers. Ah, yes. <laughs> the Italians do so many good works. If you'll just fix it so I can pick up the barrels of soup. Now hold your horses, let's not get over eager. I drive the soup cycle in this town, and I'm not about to turn it over to an upstart. But if you're well connected with the local charitable institutions... Yeah? You can let me know when they're running low on soup. Do I know a charity? As a matter of fact, I do know a local What's charity that's running low on soup. Oh, who? Uh, forget I said anything. Never mind, I'm wrong. The pool hall isn't a charity. Certainly not. I got a book. Oh, where? Huh. Got a book. All right. So what did I just do that I needed? I need oh Einstein. And I'm going to give him this hat. You, hat. Now. Hey, honey. Come here for a sec, boy. Hey, boy. Can you find the guy who belongs to this hat? <gasps> oh, here we go. Where's he going? Only one way to find out. Huh. Look up, Doc. The farm of unwanted children. Deja vu. Yeah? Who is it? It's McFly! Shh, I know! Hey, Arthur. Can you come down a minute? Do I know you? We represent the law. You don't want to go against the law, do you? No, but I don't want to go against Kid Tannen either. And he ordered me to stay put till he gives the word. Don't be Sorry. such a what? Some other time. What? No, get back yeah. Oh, you little Ted. I have to buzz him again. Oh, just show him his hat. What now? Inventory. Use. Hat. I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. Oh, why don't I just give him the subpoena then? What do you think you're doing? I'm throwing the subpoena. You can't do that. You have to hand it to him. Oh, I just wanted to tell him that. Get down there. 
don't think that's gonna work. Just try talking to him again. It's me again. Please come down. Why? We've got some important information for you, but we can't yell it. It's private. Then put it in a postcard and send it. I'm stuck up here till the boss tells me I can leave. Sorry. Some other time. Do not close the fucking window. What now? It's me again. Please come down. Why? I'm your grand... uh... mother's... great nephew. You mean my second cousin? Yeah! Glad to know you, but I can't leave this building till the boss says so. He's given strict orders. Sorry. You son of a bitch! Okay, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do, Emmett? Need any help? Um, never mind. Really? How the hell did I get to town center? Sorry. A cue ball. What? The truck just arrived with a fresh shipment of, uh, soup. Soup soup? Well, uh, this is the regular soup, and this is the special soup. Right. Special. Hey, what are you doing? I'm spicing up the soup. It's my secret recipe. Listen, this ain't the Savoy, and we ain't here to feed these bozos no fancy soup. The boss has got a business to rebuild, so knock off the goofing and mind your post. All right, all right, just try the soup. Well? Uh, yeah, probably I can see why you want to keep this a secret. Oh, you're talking to Jay. tables for we keep a few extra tables around for our end of the month hobo soirees no bother can't get in the door like a thorn bush in a drunkard's hand is a proverb in the mouth of a fool heavy I better not talk to him. I don't. Where's the radio? Excuse me. You talking to me? Can I have a bowl of soup? You're a soup kitchen. What do you think? Ah. 
What kind of soup is this? It tastes like... Scrolle Ribolita? I was gonna say weak old cabbage. Everyone's a critic. Look, all I got to work with is this two-bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. What do you think I should do to perk this slop up? Let's see. Have you tried... Giving the soup a little heat, maybe? Why, is it getting cold? No, I, I mean, like chili powder. Muy caliente. Oh, bit of a tough guy, huh? Actually, I like it spicy too, but it's gotta be edible for the common folks. <laughs> Come on, a little dash isn't gonna kill anyone. Aw, oh, heck. <laughs> you got moxie, kid. Let's spice it up a bit, shall we? Oh god, oh god, oh god, what do I do? Oh, he's fixing the soup. He's fixing the soup. So now, what, how do I? It squeaks like a motherfucker. The kitchens for management only, Rummy. Whoa! Okay, so I got that going back. Where's the radio? Yep. Yep. Need another end. You get into, but you can still cause the objects in it to be moved. I haven't tried that before. Should I try that now? There's no way I'm going to keep that door open without some help. Huddle up, Emmett. Huddle? Just listen up for a second. Emmett, I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Uh, no. Uh, of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Still, I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, it's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. Why didn't I drink the soup? Okay. Do ten. Let's see. Salt? Salt? I just think. No, it There's no way I'm going to keep that door open without some help. Ah! Hey, I get it. Eureka! Oh, we figured it out. Emmett. Yes? Oh, that's interesting. Just a little mechanical ingenuity. In the end, the door is open. Yeah, good job. We'll score that hooch some. I'll keep cogitating. Okay, here we go. 
to listen to this stupid baseball game again. All right, crummy soup. Yum, yum, yum. I still think the soup needs more flavor. Guy likes to, you know, make the soup good. Pretty neat, Doc. <laughs> nope. I'm, I'm still not getting through here. What? But at least those tables are propped up now. Mind. Okay, he's gonna put it away. <clears throat> what is it, kid? Mind if I look around a bit? No. Rack. Hey, where do you think you're going? The kitchen? The kitchen's for management only. Damn. Okay, so do I just like, run? Okay, so then he goes and ending. Mooch. How come I just can't go in the kitchen? Pretty neat, Doc. <laughs> nope. I'm, I'm still not getting through here. But at least those tables are propped up now. Still missing flavor. I still th goes to do that, and he's gonna push it aside. And then what? Nice rack. Yeah, we got all kinds of uh, culinary enhancements back there. Just go under it, dummy. Whoa! I think I gotta text the dog again. Oh, fuck sakes. Emmett. Yes? Obviously, this kitchen isn't. Indeed. This must be some sort of front meant to have a hidden establishment of ill repute. Perhaps in the basement. Right. That might explain the elevator. We'll score that who. I'll keep. Ah! Get cue ball to spice the soup. He'll move the biker's rack.
How do you solve it, Jimmy? I hope Doc Jr.'s thingamabob holds out. Kill the dude, yeah. Pretty neat, Doc. <laughs> nope. I'm still not getting through here. But at least those tables are propped up now. Ah, Miss Strickland. Come for some more soup? Come now, Mr. Donnelly. You know I wouldn't set one foot in this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor of Hill Valley weren't so dependent on Mr. Tennant's overblown show of generosity. Was that a yes? Just give me the soup before I gag on the hypocrisy. I'll tell the boss you said hello. I'll just bet you will. 